Happy New Year, everybody! Today is the last day of Vlogmas, and today is actually the first, not the 31st. I didn't film a lick of anything yesterday, but I did do a whole bunch of other things, like just some stuff that had to be done around the house, and I also did a ton of editing. I had like three videos in my computer that needed to be edited. So anyway, today is the first. It's the afternoon now. However, I've got my laundry going, which is that annoying noise in the background, which I don't like to film. I mean, a vlog is a little different, but I don't like to film when I have my laundry going. So I figured I would do my makeup and just kind of chit chat with you guys. I'm gonna put you in the medicine cabinet here and hope that you don't fall. Don't fall, okay? Just don't fall, all right? All right, a couple of vlogs back, someone had actually asked me to do a vlog on like, how I, do a how I do my makeup. I'm pretty sure I did a video on this like a long time ago. But I figured I'd just like chitty chat and uh, talk through it, I guess. I don't know. Just talk about, you know, like life and stuff. I like when I'm looking for something and it's like actually the thing in my hand. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, I have been out of the shower for a while, makeup free, and um, my hair just like, I just air dry my hair. For the most part. Every once in a while I will actually blow dry it, but it's like not good to, you know, heat your hair if you can help it. But uh, this is what my hair just looks like. Like it just has this like kind of natural like, I don't know, curve to it. It's not curly. It's just like kind of, I don't know. It does what it does. I don't really manipulate it too much. First things first. I feel like I'm doing a tutorial, but I'm not. I'm just vlogging. All right, so I start with this guy. This is the number seven beautifully matte makeup primer. Uh, just a disclaimer, I have super oily skin. So if you have super dry skin, this stuff ain't gonna work for you. This just helps. I mean, it might work for you, I don't know. But all my stuff that I use is typically just geared towards oily skin mamma jammas like myself. Um, actually, as I'm getting older, it's getting a little bit better but not by much. Um, and then I have my whoop, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. I am in the shade 25. The reason I have it upside down is because I'm almost out and this stuff is a little spendy. I get mine at Sephora. So I put like a couple little dots on my face and then I just spread her around just like, just like a deuce. I'm gonna be filming a whole bunch of videos today, my face videos. Normally if it's the weekend, and I don't have anywhere to go, I'll just take a shower and like literally put my pajamas back on because um, I don't like to wear makeup on days that I'm not leaving the house. Seems kind of redundant, unless I'm like, you know, filming or whatever. Like, I don't think I'm gonna leave the house today, but I don't know. And I like my skin to kind of breathe and not have, you know, stuff on it if I can help it. Um, and it's actually kind of later in the day now. I think it's like one o'clock or something like that. 12, 30, one o'clock, something like that. I won't wear this makeup for too long today. I'll be done filming by five. Um, and I'm talking like overhead shots and stuff too. So as soon as I'm done with like my face videos, as I like to call them, I will probably be taking this makeup off because I don't like to, I don't like to wear makeup if I don't need to. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that is that. All right, and then I take my little eye primer. This is the NARS Pro Prime. Again, geared towards the oily friend in your life, AKA me. And you just spread it all along your eyeballs. Actually, with the filming I have to do today, I probably don't need this. This is just to like help prevent creasing and eyeshadow moving around all day. All right, and then I like to take, ooh, Got like hair all over myself. Uh, this is my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. It's really hard to see, so I don't really show it because, you know, it's difficult. And then I just kind of put this over my eyeballs. Helps decrease any of the like veininess and stuff. Gives your eyeshadow kind of like a clean base so it's not all dark and such. I mean, I feel like it's not as dark. It just lightens it up a little bit. Yeah, looks good. Oh, and I should say, I know I didn't do anything yesterday, but like, I should say, I didn't do anything last night either because I'm me, so whatever. Oh, I'm gonna take this as well, this Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow palette. I on neutral zero two. I'm not gonna list any of this below, but you guys can just like find it. I got this at, at Target. I'm taking these two colors. 
these two light colors and then I go like this and then I go like this and then I go like this oh yeah 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 anyway didn't do anything last night I don't even think I stayed up until midnight um oh and then I just took these two colors this is like difficult to chat and then like also tell you what I'm using <laughs> anyway but yeah I didn't really like do anything um like I said I was I also did some like pre uploading as well um I have a surprise video coming out soon it's not really a surprise but it is it's like an extra video um it's not a Monday Wednesday Friday video so it's coming out on a different day and it's coming out in January so um I already had the footage of it I just wanted to get it like edited and scheduled and get my thumbnail created and everything so i did all that last night as well as um scheduled a couple of other things too okay so now i'm taking this one and this one and just kind of popping it in the corner and not really blending too much there right in the corner i mean i want it to be dark to create a shadow but nothing like too crazy you know and so now i'm gonna take another brush and just kind of like clean it up. I like to do messy eyeshadow. I don't really care too much about, I mean, I care about precision, but I like don't care about precision, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then I will take my MAC, let's see, what is this called? Studio Finish Concealer SPF 35. I am an NW20 and I have a lot of redness in my face. So I just kind of like to clean it up a little bit. I always have a little bit of redness around my nose and um on my nose as well my nose is always so much redder than like the rest of my face for you know whatever reason and uh just kind of like to even it out a little bit also in between my eyebrows seems to always be a little bit pinker and then you know any anywhere else i think needs a little dollop of stuff but we're gonna even all this tone out in a little bit anyway, so. Um, this guy is like one of my new things that I got. I recently hauled this. This is the NARS Creamy, or Radiant Creamy Concealer in Light to Vanilla. I really like this stuff. I feel like this helps quite a bit. So I use a little bit under the eye. I feel like this is like war paint. And then just use a little bit up here and a little bit down there. I don't know. I just feel like it just brightens up the skin a little bit more, which is the idea, you know, like radiant concealer. Uh, yeah. So today's going to be a filming day. I'm not really doing anything else besides that. And then I'm just finishing up my laundry, as you can hear in the background. So as soon as that dryer is done, which should be fairly soon, I'm going to start getting my filming stuff done. And then I'm going to, and then I'm going to start editing. I can't talk today. And then I'm going to start editing. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get everything done. Um, in my last vlogmas, I showed you guys my filming list. So hopefully that'll all get done. I'm not sure. Now I'm using my Stay Matte Rimmel Pressed Powder in Creamy Natural 011. I've already hit pan on it. I have another one over here too, because this one's kind of like breaking a little bit. But anyway, I use this to kind of like mattify my skin because, you know, the oils. I've got like pieces breaking all over the place. Okay, maybe it's time for a new one of these. So now that that is done, take my blush. This is the Tarte Exposed Amazonian Clay. I've hit pan on this and I've literally had hit pan on this for like at least a couple of months, maybe like four or five months now. And I just put a little bit on. And I feel like on camera it never comes off, but in person I'm like, whoa girl, lay off the blusha. Lay off the blusha. So, and the last thing I do, well, if I don't do eyeliner, which I'm not doing eyeliner today, but I very rarely ever do eyeliner. So I just take my little medieval torture device and my mascara and then, you know, go to town on this thing. I actually had a uh, Tarte eyelash curler that just broke just randomly. So this is actually my travel one. Um, I got this, I think at like Walgreens or something. This is like a Revlon one. It's okay. I prefer the other one, but it just like randomly broke on me. Like the spring just completely fell off and there was like no fixing it. So anyway, and then on my mascara, I use the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express in the waterproof. And I believe this is the blackest black. Yep. Blackest black. So I don't know. I just go with black or blackest black. And then I get my lashes going so you can see some definition in my eyeballs. I don't do my bottom lashes solely because the, my bottom lashes hit my face really bad. 
and then I just turn into a raccoon in about, mm, about 10 minutes. So it looks cute for like five, 10 minutes and then it's like, oh wait, do you have a black eye? What's wrong with you? It just, it looks like a hot mess, but who knows? This makeup to some of you might look like a hot mess too. You never know. All right, so that is what I do there. And then if I'm getting real fancy, I brush out my brows. What? Um, I usually don't use any like brow products. I feel like my eyebrows are kind of dark anyway. Not that they're like that dark, but okay. Guess what? My makeup's all done. That's it. That's all I do. And uh, I do pretty much all of this on a daily basis, except for the brushing the eyebrows. I don't always do that because why the heck not? Um, no reason to do that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, okay, let's close this off. Let's turn the light off. Ooh, ooh, turn this light off too. Ooh, ooh. I had my ring light on, but it wasn't like making that big of a difference. So anyway, um, yeah, so that is all I am doing right now. Wow, sorry, extreme close up there. Doing the laundry. And then I am getting ready to film all the stuff that needs to be filmed today. I'm really, really excited to do some of my filming. I, I haven't been like this excited to film in quite a while, just because I have like so much stuff to do and so much stuff to share, which I'm trying to cover up one of the things right now so I can kind of show you. Um, so yeah, but this bad boy, here, I'll show, I'll show you part of it. I'll show you part of it. So this bad boy, never mind the mess. That's all stuff for my plan with me that's coming up in a little bit. I need to film that as well. So this big Aaron Connor box is full of stuff. And it's full of stuff for a giveaway. Um, that is the giveaway that I have been hinting at for a while. I am hoping to get it up this week for you guys. And I'm getting really parched, so I need some water. So good, oh, love water. Love really, really cold water, it's like my favorite. I am gonna get set up for starting my filming process and then hopefully by the time I'm set up, the dryer will be done and I can at least start going on this. Um, but before I do that, let me show you the dog. You guys seem to really like the Doyle. Let's see what he's doing. He's living his best life on the first of the year. So there's a dog that's hiding, hiding. What's going on over there, buddy? Huh? What are you doing? Well, what's, what's going on? You hiding your snout? Oh, yep. Full hiding of the snouts. Doyle is obviously over it. So anyway, like I said, I'm gonna go get started and get set up for filming and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Bye. Well, hello friends. I have been in this room for far too long. I have filmed six seven videos if you count this video right here today um things have been intense i have been trying to go through every little thing and let's go bug the dog because that's always fun um i'm trying my hardest there we go oh, no, 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 no. trying to make you guys not look at that table oh my god it's like a problem i put my ring light on because it's intense what? I also sat here for a few videos because there are my giveaway prizes. Oh, I've got all my giveaway prizes coming up on Tuesday. Yeah. Um, I need to get to editing that, but I just uploaded the footage onto my computer and I'm transferring it over and I'm going to get to editing in just a little bit, but I wanted to close out the vlog here. I wanted to kind of wrap up vlogmas. Actually, let's like sit somewhere a little bit more comfortable. Sorry about the laundry sounds. I always have to take a break from doing laundry while I like film my other videos, whatever. But it's gotta get done, you guys, it's gotta get done. So let me wrap up Vlogmas here. Um, Vlogmas has been an interesting experience. Um, all positive, for the most part. The only thing that wasn't positive for me is the work. And when I mean the work, the actual vlogging isn't work, but finding the time to edit and upload and get all of that stuff handled that was a little bit intense it was actually kind of nice Ooh, i'm gonna switch hands 
It was actually kind of nice having about half of the Vlogmas while I was on vacation, but I was still working. So that was a little dicey trying to figure out my schedule. Um, I was just a little stressed out. However, I will say I will probably do Vlogmas next year if you guys want me to. It was really, really fun. And I think that's gonna be kind of a cool thing to like live on my channel forever. Just the idea of these vlogs, like a little moment in time and I can look back many years later and say like, what was I doing on December 2nd in 2016? And I can look back and say, oh wow, this is what I did. So, I mean, it's kind of cool. The only other thing I felt like didn't really work very well for me is because I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I couldn't really show you really what I was doing throughout the day. And I felt like I should have been able to do that a little bit more, have like a little bit of a better like production value or more activities I was doing. But unfortunately, I have a full-time like normal job as well as other commitments and stuff like that where I couldn't really take the vlog and I don't know. But I think it was really good. You guys seem to really enjoy it. If you guys have any like constructive criticism comments, please feel free to post them down below questions also um, I will get back to you but um, today was just a day of filming so I didn't really get a chance to vlog like I said today is January 1 I didn't film at all on January 31 I think I just needed a break as well as I needed to take like a mental vacation day from anything to deal with social media and the camera and all of that but yeah I mean 31 days in a row that's pretty good if I can say so myself. Actually, I did miss a day, but not really because I'm still uploading this tonight, so technically it doesn't count. Still, this is day 31 for me, even though it's January 1, so whatever. I also think you guys got to know me a little bit more too. Um, I don't take myself too seriously at all. Like, if you want to criticize anything I have to say or do, go right ahead. Um, the only thing that I have issues with is in the comments. If you want to say something about somebody else, I got problems with that. If you want to talk about me, whatever, to each your own. Just because I'm the one putting myself out there, but if someone commenting or, you know, something like that, or if you want to talk nasty about people that are in my vlogs and they're not really putting themselves out there, I have no tolerance for that kind of stuff. I didn't get too many of those. There was a couple, but nothing like really that bad. Um, I did delete a couple of comments, but like, you know, those are just trolls anyway, and it really doesn't matter. So that being said, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do, oh, the laundry's done, oh, that's so exciting. It's like not as loud anymore, I apologize. Um, but yeah, that being said, I think I'm gonna do Vlogmas next year. I think it was really fun. I think it was a good time. I wish I had more time to dedicate to the videos and to the vlog. I feel like that'd be so much fun to like do this full time and, you know, do vlogs and, you know, do a week of vlogs or do a month of vlogs or whatever. I don't think I could ever vlog full time, honestly. Like that would just so not be my cup of tea. But like to just have random months where I would just, you know, vlog and, you know, I think was it February is like vloguary or something and like October is vlogtober and um, you know it's just like really cool so I think I will be doing vlogmas again but oh, of course my battery light is blinking because I've been I've gone through like four batteries today you guys like I've been filming non-stop but anyway well I am gonna let you go that is my cue to go is this red flashing blinking light at me right now so I hope you guys enjoyed vlogmas if you do make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos from me I will be back to my regular posting schedule Monday Wednesday Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time I will be back doing that tomorrow, which is Monday. Today is Sunday, so you'll see this vlog in actually a little bit from me. I'm going to post this before I go to bed tonight, so we'll be good to go. So it'll still count as Vlogmas Day 31, even though it's January 1, but we won't talk about that. So anyway, that's it from me from Vlogmas 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in my next video.